Hello and welcome to Jokkmokk in Swedish Lapland. It's May 23 today, but it feels like the winter is on its way again. It snowed yesterday, so not so nice. Um, power supply. Uh, that's a topic that I have had some questions about. How do I supply power to my rig during prolonged sessions in in temperatures below minus 20 or even minus 30 degrees Celsius. And uh, this is something I thought about myself when I started uh, to explore this topic some year ago. Would it be possible at all to do astrophotography uh, in these temperatures? And during these cold nights I have learned a lot. And now I can say with confidence that it's not really an issue at all um, and that the solution does not cost a lot either. So let us see how I have done. And uh, this is a power source that I use, a 73 ampere hour marine battery. Uh, this one is from a Swedish low price chain, Biltema, and costs around 1000 Swedish crowns. Which, which is roughly about 100 euros or 150 US dollars. Uh, a marine battery has fewer, thicker plates, allowing the battery to provide continuous power output over long time periods. Deep cycle batteries can be in entirely drained and recharged many times. Um, and all batteries suffer in cold, and this is a lead battery, and fully charged it can withstand temperatures as low as minus 50 degree. Um, and at minus 30 de degree you still have about 50% of its capacity. And I have mounted the battery in this battery box that costs around 500 Swedish crowns. So altogether this has been a cheap and very reliable solution. And I have not had any issues at all even in very low temperatures. These are the cables that I use. Um, this is... Uh, two to one split contact that I connect into the battery box. And these are uh, silicon cables that are great in, in cold because they don't get stiff. Uh, one powers the mount and the other one powers the ASIR Pro. And as you can see, I have secured the coupling with tape so they stay connected when the mounts loose. A few times this winter I have had some problems with the batteries in my, my tablet um, that I use with the ASIR Pro app. And therefore I have constructed this uh, heated hard case um, with the element from a car heated seat. I bought another marine battery, now I have two, and use that to supply power to, to this one um, as well to the dew heater. And uh, this case works great and I could keep a temperature over zero degrees Celsius even when it was uh, uh, minus 15, 20 degrees outside. So a, a very easy solution to keep the tablet warm. Well, the conclusion is that the power supply is not an issue. It's uh, pretty easy and pretty cheap also to supply power to the rig even in uh, very cold arctic temperatures and during prolonged sessions. Um, my hardest problem was uh, to keep my tablet warm but um, with this heated hard case I think I have solved that problem too. So that was all for this time. See you later.